podcast time well, that's right benford tools is proud to present the home improvement podcast my name is adam you and my co-host jordan hi jordan hi adam how are you good uh we haven't done this in a while i know you just kept poking me and prodding me until we could get back, back behind the mic i had to drive all the way to lansing to see you and convince you yeah you twisted my arm uh eventually after bonding over a michigan state loss you 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 won me over yeah, so. um, and but, but a lot of people are saying it was one of coaches those best games. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody I know. <laughs> <laughs> one person there was. One oh, person. Yeah. Jordan, yeah. It's a pleasure. It's um, always. There's so much to talk about. I think the last time we recorded, I had mentioned that I was moving to Michigan, and we were finishing up the Santa Clauses season two, which um, went on to win the Pulitzer. So that was obviously really exciting for everybody. Um, a shock to me and you, based on our coverage. I know, but you know what? I kind of came around on Magnus Antis, and when he t- <laughs> when he uh, Stone Street in character accepted the award for the Pulitzer, that was pretty big. For I everybody. think kind of all of America was on board at that point. Well, he wept, you know. Yeah, 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 he yeah. wept. Yeah, yeah. Um, as he should. But yeah, wow, so much has happened. I don't. I wasn't a homeowner the last time we recorded. I am now. Uh, and that's changed your life in a lot of ways. I think so. Um, I, I have so many different things that I, I want to talk about. I'm calling this uh, Home and Podcast colon Loose Screws episode because I got a lot of different <laughs> things kind of going on. Um, I thought you were going to say Home, improv- home Improvement Potpourri, just like our Jeopardy days. That's true. That would also work. We used to watch work. Jeopardy together. Um, that was, those were fun. Um, and maybe now that we live closer together, we can do that on a weeknight, drive to each other's house, watch Jeopardy. Uh, we'll, we'll have to, it'll have to be like, we'll record a few so yeah. we can have like maybe a marathon because you yes. got to make it, you know, it can't be just like one episode of Jeopardy. It's got to be worth the drive for now, sure. Now, you're, in your recollection, did you win more of those battles or did I? You did. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember. I honestly, well? I honestly okay. don't remember. I have okay. no idea. So. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I don't. I don't feel like I won very much. But I, it's one of those things where when I did win, it meant a lot. Yeah, which is the good yeah. thing about losing a lot when you win. <laughs> when you win, it really means something. Well, you wept. He wept. He wept. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I am. Uh, yeah, I'm not a homeowner in Kalamazoo, Michigan, um, where a lot of Tim Allen stuff went down, for better or worse. <laughs> That's exactly why you. Why. You- I did it for the podcast. Uh, I'm working at Western Michigan University, where Tim Allen received his honorary doctorate. It's getting very, very... It's uh, it's meta. Yeah, very meta, very, very strange at this point. But yeah, what else? Um, I had a meeting in Sangren Hall a couple weeks ago where Tim and Jill supposedly met. It's obviously been newly refurbished and redone Mm -hmm. and so on. Uh, I didn't see any plaques anywhere kind of commemorating there a bit strange yeah so you put your own you made your own and you put it up there's a suggestion box for um <laughs> so i put that in there i signed it anonymous for obvious reasons i have, yeah, I have, yeah. I have a career to well you, i mean if you would have put your name on it people would have you know they know you have the podcast I'm, right. I'm assuming all of your coworkers now know about the podcast a few uh, it, it you was told on my me resume. such yeah 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 yeah, sure. yeah so so if you put that in there they're not going to take it as seriously as a, a, an anonymous person might Right, you know, for get sure. Get the, the um, rep for it. Yeah, it's, uh, the house is great. I, I, I told you in person, home improvement hits a little harder when you're a homeowner. It's hard mm. to, I don't know, there's just a certain je ne sais quoi that's lost when you're renting, Jordan. Um, Have you encountered a lot of improvements that you need to make your home already? Yeah, there was a sink thing like right away, so that was cool. <laughs> but when you say when you say need to make, or do you do you mean need to pay someone to make? Because that's what I'm <laughs> well, about. I assumed since we spent so much time yeah. watching Home Improvement mm-hmm. that you would take this on as a challenge at this point, and you have not. Uh, no, um, I didn't. <laughs> um, someone else in the house maybe did try to fix it a little bit and maybe had inadvertently made things just slightly worse. And thus we had to call someone and I'm not saying who, but perhaps the other person I live with. <laughs> There's who, only one other whom option. Whom I love very much. Um, who, who, whom shall remain nameless. That's right. Yeah, um, yeah, that's right. 
But yeah, I got, uh, you know, I'm looking out, I got a fence right here, a brand new fence, and every time I look out, I think, I wish there was a, a sage, a Wilson. Yeah. Uh, pro- professorial type, and in fact, uh, Sam's brother visited just three days ago, and we stood by that fence, and he said, you ever see anybody look over in a fishing hat and give you advice? And I don't even think he knows about the podcast. So. Wow. Home improvement's just in the air, Jordan. You can't live it in really Kalamazoo is. without it being <laughs> just a part of your everyday existence. And while people don't necessarily say it, we all feel it. It's you know? in the air. Yeah, you're feeling it. Uh, that makes sense. Well, I mean, what's your neighbor like over the fence? Um, I haven't met the one with the... There's there's two sides. There's two sides to every fence. <laughs> um, there's a fence the on each, each side of the yard. Um, which I guess somewhat fortunately, the neighbors seem to be on the hook for the fences on each side. Uh, nice. Yeah. So, so you, that was another smart, like surprise for mm-hmm. you. Not smart, but a surprise for you. Yeah. yeah. You didn't make that choice. Yeah. I didn't make that choice necessarily. Um, mm-hmm. we had not seen the house, just a virtual tour before we bought it. So there was a lot of surprises when we got here. Mm-hmm. Um, I've met the neighbors on one side. They're, they're nice enough and I haven't met the people on the other. Um, and then there's, so there's not an opportunity still. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely an opportunity, and there's people behind us as well. Um, we did meet them, and um, I'm going to withhold the story for now, and then maybe I'll tell it in future episodes. But okay. Kind of an interesting, good. interesting yeah. exchange. Yeah. We're going to have a there. lot more episodes soon. There's going to be like so. Now that I'm a homeowner, <laughs> I have so so much more content and banter. Um, but no, Jordan, a lot of a lot of projects around the house. Um, you know, I think Sam right now is painting the basement ceiling. Uh, as we speak so that's being painted and um there's a lot of small painting projects little things here and there you didn't invite me over to help you paint i don't want to invite you over for labor i'm i'm here to help man sweat equity that you can you into that kind of thing i'm i'm into being your friend oh that's how about that say yeah yeah well uh next time we we need some hard work done he'll be my first call Uh, but no, things are, uh, things are good, and uh, yeah, it's great great to be here back in Kalamazoo at Western, and uh, frankly, just in Tim Allen country. I was, you know, um, I mean, I'm happier in Kalamazoo. I'm mm-hmm. happier that I got to see you recently, and, and hope to see you again soon. So that's that's good news for me, and good mm-hmm. news for all of Michigan, really. It was a real pleasure um, mm-hmm. to uh, go to that game with you and visit you, um, and I wish... And I w- you kept commenting on how surprised you were that Lansing is such a metropolis. Did I say that? Something like that. <laughs> I think I said, this strip mall's big, which is a generous interpretation. I know, of... I know how to read through your lines, okay? I know exactly what you meant. You didn't have to go you any further. You saw my eyes than go that. wide when I saw a Panera. You saw this, this is just like Milwaukee. <laughs> Just like Milwaukee. I, uh, just yeah. like home. Well, I was just, I was feeling like I should have moved there instead, you know? But there's only one I, king of DeWitt, and that's you. I can't tell you how many times, well, I can't tell the audience how many times I've mentioned that to you already, but... Uh, you mentioned seemed, it like four times when we were... Which is kind of a lot. Yeah. You know, for the amount of time that we were together. That's like two times per half of a basketball game. That's true. Here's the thing. Mm. I would love to have you even closer. I mean, there's there's <laughs> tennis matches. <You're> right. <laughs> there's tennis matches to be had. There's a 3v3 basketball league that's starting up soon. Uh, there's just lots of opportunity. If so. I lived in DeWitt, or let's say you live closer to me, uh, yeah, yeah. would you think we? <laughs> do you think we would record every week? No. Do you think we would record chance. every month? No. We went. Oh come on! Every month. You. I don't Jordan, know, man. Loose screws. I just came up with a new <laughs> idea. This has got staying power. This thing's got legs. I was telling my wife before we started. I sure. said. I can tell you one thing. Adam's more excited about recording right now than I am. Not that I don't want to talk to you. You could say that about every episode, <laughs> all 269 episodes we ever recorded. You could mostly say I was more excited to do it than you. But some were more imbalanced than others. I will say that. So This is true. Um, yeah. And I, I did look recently, and this will be our 270th episode. Wow. So that's what kind of lot. celebration you got planned? Did you get me any presents? It's in the mail. It's in the mail. <laughs> Six and the royalties mm, okay all right, all right all right i view you doing this episode of the pod as like you paying me back for <laughs> me coming to that basketball game <laughs> well it is strange i mentioned to you that day you refused to invite me to your new house oh um, uh, yeah i'm kind of wondering what kind of bodies you have buried there but <laughs> yeah well i think you're gonna um be pretty impressed by 
the elephant statue that the previous owners left in the backyard. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. I can. I mean, is it a big or small elephant? Because my kids would love it. Okay, it's like. I'd say it's the size of two footballs. All right. Well, weird thing to compare it to, but <laughs> uh, I play football in high school, so, <laughs> so uh, you see everything in football size. Yeah, you're eight footballs <laughs> stacked on top of each other. I'm twelve. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. So that elephant, we're actually probably gonna get rid of it. Probably, by the time you come here, it will be but a distant memory. No, you'll have a plaque though, just like the one you're gonna put up in Sanguine Hall. Yeah. That's a lot of plaques. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so I got a really good story I've been telling people, and uh, I'm going to tell it to you now. All right. <laughs> and I need to withhold some information just out of respect to those involved. Uh, okay. Okay. So um, through my work, there is this uh, wellness initiative. Basically, you go in for a wellness assessment, and you get uh, some career coaching, or no, sorry, you get some wellness health coaching and, okay. and in response to that, they deduct $240 off your health insurance for the year. So oh, cool. it's kind of just like, an, you know, you go in, you get your blood drawn, you get some tests done, and you get, yeah, this money off. So I like the idea of the money off. So I went in and did it last week, and I met with this woman who was in her 60s, and, um, you know, we were really hitting it off. We were talking about health, and, <laughs> you know, she took my blood and measurements, and she... You know, she was feeling pretty good about my health, and we talked uh, health goals, and um, we really had a bond. She was uh, older, I would say. She had uh, she had lived a life, you could say. There okay. was there was some full years, yeah. yeah. There were some full years on her, but she mm-hmm. was she was all the better for the life she'd lived, and naturally, uh, she yeah. looked to the she looked to the future with optimism and very committed to her health. And you know, we were just really hit it off, and you know. I think there was talk about how fast I could walk a mile and staying in touch and all these things. And I even... (laughs) Why are those two things together? How fast you can walk a mile and then staying in touch? Because there was a discussion about whether or not, um, like, cardiovascularly speaking, was I getting enough air and oxygen to my heart? And Mm. how does that reflect in certain times? I went out and ran a mile this weekend, Jordan. I I blazed through the thing. It was easy. I I believe it. I'm not too concerned about that. But, yeah. you know, we got through these things and we set some goals. And afterwards, you know, mm-hmm. I the appointment was over and I kind of just kept talking to her because I was enjoying the company. And I just thought. And she know. kept saying, like, you got to go. And she quite was like, the opposite. Oh, quite the opposite. she was not she interested was, in no, work. Quite the opposite. She was, we're, you know, we're just hitting it off. And I said, you know, we'll, we'll stay in touch. I'll let you know how things go. And um, so I went into work the next day and I and I'm not going to use this person's name, but. I was saying how, yeah, the assessment was good, and I was glad to have it done. I was glad to have the money off. And one of my coworkers said, well, you know who that is, right? You know whose sister that is. That's Tim Allen's sister. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) Yeah. No way. Yeah, I swear. I swear. I'm not going to use her name because, I don't. you know, who knows if she would be comfortable with that. But basically... Yeah, I went in and got a full health assessment and talked about my mile time. And and you guys uh, didn't health. talk one lick about home improvement. Didn't come up once. She didn't bring it up. I mean, I didn't have any reason to bring it up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, you better believe that the next uh, couple of days later after I ran that mile, I, was, I, I sent a follow-up email. I was like, hey, mile time went great. So I'm trying to keep this relationship going. I'm probably going to go yeah. back in for an assessment in about six months. Yeah. Um, you're yeah. going to bring your home improve or home and podcast business card. I'm going to wear my sweatshirt and maybe it'll spark conversation. I'm, I'm not going to. Ooh, definitely wear the sweatshirt. That's like a yeah. really like subtle way of doing it. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So, yeah. um, pretty crazy. Just, just, wow. you know, we're, I'm back in Kalamazoo for two months and something like that happens. I, I mean, I will say like, we are joking around about the, the Tim Allen stuff, but that's, there's some creepy stuff going on over there. The universe uh, seems to want us to meet Tim Allen. I know. I could not believe it. And someone told me in like this big meeting and I had trouble like concentrating the rest of the day. I was like, naturally, (laughs) I'm like rethinking everything. (laughs) And then, you know, I see a picture of her afterwards and, you know, I can place it after the fact, but it's not like, you you know, you'd have no 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 reason to draw those kind of comparisons. Um, So basically ever since that happened, I've been waiting to tell you on air. So. You got, it is funny. You sent me like three things ahead of time, and you just you seem to be pocketing these things and just keeping a little, a little notepad 
There's I think, a notepad. I think being here in this area just gave me uh, a lot of home improvement related things to discuss. Hence mm-hmm. me wanting to do this episode. If I was still in Milwaukee, we'd probably be talking about friggin' bushwhacked or something. If I could even get you on the mic. <laughs> yeah, you'd be lucky. Yeah. You'd be lucky to get me on the mic. Well, that certainly is an incredible story. Yeah. Um, and the cool thing about it is it's it's still ongoing. So yeah, it's ongoing. listeners and I are interested yeah. in where this goes next. I would like you to keep a detailed uh, account of your next visit with this person. I think it indirectly is going to make me healthier because I want that to. That is good. Yeah, yeah, so it's a good side effect. I mean, she did say like, you know, I'm in much better shape than a lot of the people she sees. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which perhaps is a criticism to them, but I was just focused on how it reflected on me. So. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just happy for your health, and I'm happy for that circumstance. If you want to know um, how many emails we've exchanged since the initial assessment, it's between four and five. Is she on your speed dial now? I mean, her number's attached to the email. I could easily add it. Karn! <laughs> no, I would never. I don't. I don't want to abuse any any privileges. Uh, but we've yeah. abused enough things in our lives. Uh, why Why should we stop now? So that that's that, Jordan. Um, that's when I knew we had to get behind the mic and do this this loose. So that was. Episode. So you already had like three or four things. Yeah. And then that was like the cherry on top. Yeah. Basically. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So that's kind of it for opening show stuff. Jordan, I got a couple other things to talk about, um, and I'm going to let you choose what we discuss next. So one of those is a cameo of Tim Allen on an episode of The Drew Carey Show, or mm-hmm. the other one is a scene that I had Chad GPT write between <laughs> Tim and Wilson uh, for home improvement. So which one, which one, which interests right, you more? Well, here's the thing. Was it Chat GPT 3 or 4? That'll help me decide. I think it was 3.5. 3.5. Ooh, yeah. tough. Yeah, give me the Drew Carey show, please. Okay. Because right. I actually, lately, not, you know, I've, I've been tuning into Whose Line Is It Anyway. Ah, yes. Uh, so I get to see Ryan Stiles every once in a while, and uh, it was good to see him younger as you sent me this clip. Did so. I tell you that I went to Whose Live, it, Live Is It Anyway, the s- stage version of that a couple months ago? Boy, I f- it feels very, very familiar. Okay. And did you say, like... One of them wasn't there. Like Colin wasn't there. Colin wasn't there. Yeah. So we, yeah, we definitely about talked about this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Styles was good though. <sighs> he always is. Yeah. He always is. It is funny watching it now. Like I used to watch that show um, a lot of nights before bed. It's funny watching it now because you don't realize that like literally everything is like a sex joke. Yeah. It's very dirty. Yeah. Every single one. See, so. I got that when I was young, but you were a little more sheltered than me, so I could see why yeah, you didn't Yeah, you get always it. have been a little bit further ahead on that type of stuff than me, so. Because <laughs> you were on the football team. I played football. You played play football. I, I can All look right. at a girl and be like, she's six footballs. <laughs> Tall. You always knew how many footballs people were. All right, let's talk about the Drew Carey Show. Another show... That I used to watch oh, all the time it. before talk school. About, talk about a raunchy show. That's pretty yeah. raunchy. Yeah, I don't know. Like my when I was growing up, my mom would not let me watch The Simpsons. Yeah, uh, or wrestling. You know, those were just <laughs> <laughs> wrestling is funny. <laughs> and give give you guys bad ideas. I, I used to I used to have to you know how every channel our remote had like the back button. So I'd have uh, wrestling on one channel, and then I'd have like Tom and Jerry on the other channel. And so when the door would open, I'd quickly hit the back button. Very so. wholesome. Yeah, she, she <laughs> but but you did it so long in life she thought you had kind of arrested development. She's like, You yeah. watching cartoons at nineteen? After a while it got a, a little strange. <laughs> but so like shows like South Park and Drew Carey kind of flew under the radar, which is kinda of funny because South Park is, is much worse than The Simpsons. So Simpsons had just a real bad reputation that was not really earned. South Park earned its reputation, I always figured. Certainly. So this this clip that you shared with me mm-hmm. um, is a clip. I don't recall ever seeing it. Maybe I've never I seen it before. Mm-mm. It is. It looks like at the show it was opening, maybe? And... Show's opening and closing. Oh, okay. Um, so it was split in two. I didn't get that. Okay. Yeah. So opening and closing uh, from an episode called The Front, season one, episode 17. And so it's I, early in the run. I don't remember how many first season. Uh, there might it went a lot longer than you'd probably think. Um, mm-hmm. I couldn't really find out why it happened, but my best guess is just boosting. Like first season of another ABC show, they just kind of want to 
Yeah, uh, do everything out. you can yeah. to get viewers show up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I, the reason that I wanted to talk about this was I watched it and I liked it and I thought it was funny in a way that every other example of this that we've covered or seen during Home Improvement's run really wasn't. Like, I'm talking about yeah. other cameos and other shows. I just Soul thought Soul Man and such. Yeah, right. Yeah. I just thought something about this was just a little bit better and funnier, and I just I, I just thought it was kind of interesting. He's, so. he's working with a little bit uh, higher class talent with Drew Carey and Ryan Styles and, and all them. So, uh, yeah, so the, I did, yeah, anyway. I did a rundown of the clip, so I can just kind of go through okay. it, and then we can just Let's generally it. discuss it. So, I mentioned season one, episode 17, um, the front, and I read a review just kind of from the first season, and it was an Entertainment Weekly review, and the critic said, good show, funny, I gave it like a B plus, but I would like to see less cameos from existing talent like Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, so apparently Jamie Lee Curtis was, oh, was nice. on there as well. Um, but basically, it's the start of an episode, and you have the the Drew Carey gang, so it's like, I don't even remember their names, but uh, Drew... And crew, we'll say, um, Mm -hmm. hanging around the house. Um, Drew walks into the kitchen and pours uh, some of his beer into a pot. Um, He makes kind of a whoop sound, and then there's a hey from the distance. Whoop, hey, whoop, hey, whoop, hey. It continues on. um, And Drew just. (laughs) I like that you hear it. Just to give people Is this uh, the chat GPT version? Yeah, or? Whoop, hey, whoop, hey, whoop, hey. <laughs> Timothy said, uh, we'll get into that. Yeah, um, yeah. But Drew goes outside and he, who do we see? But Tim Allen has parachuted down and he's stuck in a tree in Drew Carey's yard. And I got to tell you, Jordan, when the audience sees Tim Allen, they go nuts. They do go nuts. Now, f- when I first saw him, I thought, is this Tim Taylor? But it's it's very clearly Tim Allen. It's an It's a really interesting thing because... So apparently, like, you know, in the world of the Drew Carey show, Tim Allen and the television show Home Improvement exist. Yes. Right? So So they watch it every every, uh, week or something. So Tim's doing, he's done a uh, parachute, like, stunt kind of for charity, and he's he's stuck in the tree. We get a lot of John Goodman's coming down next jokes. So apparently Mm -hmm. this was like the Roseanne era, and John Goodman, who's now not so large, was, was pretty heavy, so... A lot of jokes like that. Um, Drew wants how many, to... fo- how many footballs would you say John Goodman was at the time? Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what do you think? 14, 15 footballs? <clears throat> Just be careful, because he's listening. He's listening. Love, love yeah. you, John. Um, friend of the pod, John Goodman. It, it, it. Drew wants Tim to do the grunt. Um, eventually, everyone else comes out. Uh, Tim does the grunt. Drew says he does it better. I just kind of generally speaking... Um, I thought it was funny because because it's not Tim Taylor, it's Tim Tim Allen. The, he's mm-hmm. kind of like meaner yes. and more caustic and sarcastic. So like the jokes are mean spirited, and he's really going after him, and it's pretty funny in a yeah. way that like Tim Taylor never really could be. Um, Drew gets under Tim uh, and kind of puts his legs up on Tim. Uh, he puts Tim's legs up on his shoulder. They take a picture. Um, Tim offers an autograph to Krista Miller, whose name I can't remember on the show, Mm -hmm. Um, but he writes, call the police instead, and then there's some cell phone bit. Now, during the cell phone part, did you kind of catch that they're going through a cell phone and they see the name Eddie? No, I didn't. Yeah, Eddie the mechanic, perhaps? I was going to say the mechanic guy, but that's from the show, not real life, I guess. Right, Um, but they instead say Eddie is at the dog from Frasier. Um, Yeah. So, and then the opening part ends with another John Goodman's coming down. Uh, there's, there's a large, yeah, John Goodman coming out and then everybody kind of scatters. Um, and then at the very end, I didn't watch the episode. There's just, uh, Tim kind of talking to John Goodman as if he's there. And it's just kind of more jokes about getting out of the tree and John Goodman being big and so on and so forth. Um, so... I like this. I think it's funny. Like I said, um, I think that the jokes are like also, like I said, more caustic, more sarcastic. Tim Allen is a little bit funnier as Tim Allen, perhaps, than Tim Taylor. And I just think that these writers, um, my note was, are these writers better at writing zings for Tim Allen than Home Improvement? Um, (laughs) Because I mean, it's just the jokes are really hitting for me. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I just enjoyed kind of the meanness of it. So what overall was your impression of this this scene, this short, I short clip? I mean, I haven't seen this show in a long time. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of forget what Drew Carey's character was like, but I thought he was kind of interesting. He was acting very, like, uh, I don't know, childlike. Yeah. Uh, not in, like, an aw shucks way, but in, like, a you're an idiot type of way. Yeah. <laughs> Which I guess I, there were there were moments of that that show, but it, it lended itself well to, like, the mean-spirited jokes and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Uh, but I, I echo a lot of the stuff that you already mentioned. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty funny. I... I thought it was interesting that they used like Tim Allen instead of the Tim Taylor character, and so it was it was more funny. Um, yeah, there wasn't a lot to do for Ryan Styles, mm-hmm. and I forget the other guy's name. Um, Diedrich Baker in real yeah, life, Diedrich. but I, yeah. I don't know his name on the show. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, he plays a, a dim-witted, probably the most dim-witted of the three, if I recall. Yeah. But uh, no, it was a good one. It was a good mm-hmm. clip that I don't know how you found it. Like, what did you? <sighs> I think it popped across on Twitter somehow. Somebody shared mm-hmm. it, and I clicked on it, and I thought, oh, that's pretty good. I don't know. Here we are. Here we um, are. Not every episode needs to be built around an hour and a half movie or something, so I think my thought <laughs> was like, eh, this could, this could maybe launch into a, a decent discussion. But, yeah, I just kind of thought it was funny, and anytime I see something new in relation to home improvement that I didn't know about, I I always, uh, you know, my ears perk up a little bit. It was, so. it was a good one uh, mm-hmm. from the archives. It was only posted two years ago, so somebody must have cut it. Yeah, not that, not that long ago. Uh, top comment on the video says, this is from Jasmine McDonald. Mm. Uh, he went beyond infinity doing that. That's a good so, comment. And I really can only good. assume Jasmine is related to uh, Norm McDonald. Uh, Big hat, it's funny. <laughs> I wish. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, anything else to say about that? No, that's it. Just wanted to get your impression of it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was. I thought it was fun. I know we'll never do another podcast uh, about a TV oh, show. Yeah, it's like what? Ever again? It's like, boy, <laughs> it got dark real fast. Yeah, but uh, Drew Carey show would have been a good one. There's probably not a lot out there about it, and uh, it might be watchable. I yeah. think it might be. I do remember at the end they do like a real late pivot where like some young tech bros buy it, and it's like you you look at the show from where it started and where it finished, and it's kind of unrecognizable but hey that's good podcast banter you could say a lot you could maybe say the same thing about home improvement in some ways yeah i was gonna say how different would that be you know yeah (sighs) all right well hey the other the other (laughs) thing i wanted to do um about a year ago i saw that al you know alan alda long time listeners know big alda guy love alan alda always uh a lot of alda talk um that would have been a good podcast too all the talk um but it's like all the talk. Yeah, sure. Naturally. Yeah, it writes itself. Um, Write that down. I saw that he had done kind of the exact same thing that we're trying, where he had had uh, ChatGPT write a scene from MASH, and he acted it out with one of his uh, fellow MASH cast members. Um, I didn't watch the clip, so I don't know how it went or what his impression was, <laughs> but I liked the idea, so I clocked it for a later point. Yeah, um, and so and this is what came out of it. It's a three-minute scene. Yeah. Okay. Three minute scene, and this was my prompt. Write a three minute scene between Wilson and Tim from the show Home Improvement. Please include stage directions. Mm. So, Jordan, um, I'm going to give you the choice whether or not you want to play Tim or Wilson. You know, previously we've done things like this. I think you're the actor of the bunch, uh, I'll just say. <laughs> so, um, I'll, I'll handle the stage directions, um, but. Which character uh, do you want to play? Give, give me Wilson. Give okay. me Wilson. All right. And when I say stage directions... Um, I know what stage directions are. Yeah, but I just mean if there's a stage direction in your own character's dialogue, you can, you can just kind of interpret that as you will, if that makes sense. So you're not going to read that after it says Wilson and then it gives the stage direction. Okay, I'll read that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should have thought about this before. <laughs> so, let, for example, there's a line that says, Tim calling out Wilson, hey, Wilson. I would just read, what would I read there? What would be the best way to handle you would just like read. That? You would just read the line. You wouldn't read the stage directly. Okay. All right. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Setting. The backyard of the Taylor household. Tim Taylor is leaning on the fence peering over to his neighbor Wilson's side. Wilson is tending his garden, his face partially obscured by the fence. 
Wilson. Hey, Wilson. Ah, Timothy. What brings you to the fence today? Well, I was just admiring your garden. It's looking mighty fine over there. Oh, thank you, Timothy. Gardening has always been a source of solace and joy for me. Yeah, I can see that. Say, I've been thinking about planting some vegetables myself. Any tips for a rookie gardener? Ah, gardening is much like life, Timothy. It requires patience, nurturing, and a willingness to learn from both success and failure. Hmm. I never thought about it like that. I usually just dive in headfirst and hope for the best. (laughs) Uh, The Taylor approach. Bold? And adventurous. You got it, Wilson. But maybe a little wisdom from the master wouldn't hurt. Indeed, Timothy. Let me share with you the ancient art of companion planting. As Wilson explains the concept of companion planting, <laughs> Tim listens intently, <laughs> occasionally interjecting with questions and anecdotes. The scene is filled with warmth and camaraderie as the two neighbors <laughs> bond over their shared love of gardening. And remember, Timothy, a garden is more than just a collection of plants. It's a living ecosystem that thrives on balance and harmony. Thanks, Wilson. I'll keep that in mind when I start digging in the dirt. I have no doubt that your garden will flourish, Timothy. Just remember to listen to the whispers of nature. The scene ends with Tim nodding appreciatively, ready to put Wilson's advice into practice. The bond between the two neighbors is strengthened as they continue to share their knowledge and passion for gardening. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh so what's, do we <laughs> what's your impression of that I, I have some notes but yeah i see the i see your notes here okay. at the bottom uh yeah. it is interesting uh like some of the no- like why does it say nodding you know like why does it have to say nodding as like a stage direction i think or it felt like... compelled to give stage directions because it was part of the <laughs> like one one says uh grateful yeah like, right what is... <laughs> yeah at least okay. something to the actor yeah, you don't have to do anything. It is interesting. Uh, I don't know. You know, there's an art to prompting Chat mm-hmm. GPT and some of these uh, other AI mm-hmm. uh, tools. But uh, I don't know. I think you did okay with your 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 prompt, and it turned out something that uh, I don't know isn't real good or makes <laughs> a whole whole lot of I, sense. I the things I thought were funny. You could see my notes. I don't, yeah. Why does Why does Wilson call him Timothy? Over and like over, over yeah. and over again. That's Maybe never once. happened, has it? Yeah, no. Maybe once in a scene. And I yeah. did, overall, I felt like uh, it got Wilson's voice better than Tim's. Maybe because Wilson's is more distinct. But I sure. felt like I could see some of this dialogue, like, you know, something like this in an actual episode of Home Improvement. Whereas sure. the Tim character, like, I don't really, I don't know that this really emulates Tim especially well. No, I I would agree. I think Wilson's slightly better. Mm-hmm. Uh, your note at the the next part about it just kind of skips over yeah. the best part was really funny. I thought like, oh okay, we're getting into a scene, yeah. and then I expected this is like the normal Wilson part where yeah. like some sort of wisdom comes, and yeah, it's just like oh we're just gonna talk through it in some sort of montage or something. It's yeah, very strange. I changed it from two minutes to three minutes because the first prompt didn't have that. And I was like, well, if I add a minute, surely, surely it'll go into some <laughs> detail. Just on said, the, no, no, no. the second time it was still like, no, I'm not going to do that. How long are those scenes between Tim and Wilson? Because apparently we should have gone five or six. I felt like bits of wisdom or sorry, not bits of wisdom, just generally going to the clip was yeah. like two minutes usually. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. That's about right. Uh, maybe the stage directions take up too much time. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of nodding. A I mean, lot just, of like, nodding. Like you want like AI writing in a nutshell. This final line: the bond between the two neighbors is strengthened <laughs> as they continue to share their knowledge and passion for gardening. That's like that's 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 AI writing in a nutshell to me. It's just like so hilarious and stupid. Um, yeah. Well, just be careful because in ten years the AI robots are gonna they're gonna download this podcast. Yeah. And we're gonna be in trouble. Yeah. So. They're gonna be my boss too. So. Yeah. 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 Joke's on us, I guess, at the end of the day. But for right now, yeah, we can heckle them. We can heckle those AIs. We can heckle them. I mean, let's just... I don't know what Hollywood's so worried about when I read things like this. Um, mm. But I don't know. I thought, I thought it was kind of interesting. And if nothing else, seeing Timothy five to six times in the scene really <laughs> cracks me up. Yeah, that was probably the, the thing that stuck out the most. <laughs> and it, right away, it doesn't say, like, Timothy Taylor in the no. first setting thing. It says Tim Taylor. So yeah, that's the pivot to Timothy. It's like I don't know. The, the next prompt you do, you'll have to say, "Please do not write Timothy." Well, we'll do this every episode from here on out. So yeah. Yeah. What's the next scene you're gonna do? 
between Tim and Jill? I would you like want, to see you want some at the hardware store? With it's got to be two characters, otherwise it's too hard for us. I think <laughs> um, I'd like to see Tim in a heartfelt scene with either Jill or one of the kids. Mm. Yeah, I mean, what about Al? You're not going to get Al in there involved? Al would be good. I, we let, can do like do a scene with the man's something. Oh, you know. let's do. Oh, you know what would be good? Uh, a tool time segment. Naturally. Yeah. Yeah, you All got right. the crowd involved. I can't wait to see the stage direction. For that one. <laughs> nodding. The crowd <laughs> nodding. Crowd, crowd yeah. nodding. That'd be good. Yeah, yeah. you're real good. Yeah. All right. Well, well uh, good, a great idea. Thank, Thank you, Alan Alda, for that one. Hey, yeah, he's he's one of the best. Um, Friend of the pod as well. But long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> we got him on the phone here. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Jordan, winding things down here. A couple of new, uh, what used to be iTunes reviews, now Apple Podcast reviews. Mm. Guess, do you know what the number that we're up to is now? Boy, I feel like we were in the upper 60s when we left off. Where are we at now? 79. Whoa, maybe we're 70s, I don't know. Yeah. It's good. It's a good number. I don't know. All right. Um, as is often the case, there's a one star and a five star. Which one do you want first? <laughs> Give me the five star first. Drac is back uh, from Parker5140 on January 24th, 2024. Five stars for the utter determination of Adam and Jordan. Many would have lost the strength to carry on after the atrocities that are some of the middle seasons of the show. I skipped about 60 episodes, but I still feel like I'm standing on Castle's Corner, just waiting for the boys to come pick me up and take me on a cruise down <laughs> Woodward Avenue. Wow. All I'm saying I can't is, believe you skipped 60 episodes. How dare you? All I'm saying, if you're driving on Woodward, be careful, because that's where Brad drives. And he gets uh, into accidents. Yeah, you're going to get in an accident, for sure. Yeah, 60 episodes is a lot to skip. That's like a third. you got to go back. Come on, Parker. Come on, all Parker. Right. There's some gems in there, I'm certain. There's got to be something. Yeah. Well, Jordan, you can guess what the one-star review is kind of focused on. <laughs> the same thing they're always focused on, which <laughs> slays me. All right. This podcast could use improvement. Oh. So, Wrigley Field Marshall, January 3rd, 2024. One star. In one of the first episodes I heard, the generic host made a stupid comment about Brett Kavanaugh. Please keep, keep the stupid liberal commentary out of the show. <laughs> this really dates it at a certain point in time because the only time I ever knew <laughs> who Brett Kavanaugh was was a very... I can't thing. even imagine what, what the context of that would have been. What would we have said? I'd like to know which of us is the generic one. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All I can say is that, you know, when we read things about two PC guys and being too liberal, I just I just wonder how people react to... That's why we moved uh, back to Michigan. We're others so in the world. Yeah, we're so, we're so liberal. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, it's out, if we're going to get a one-star review, that's what it's for. But I guess that's probably every podcast. There's never three stars. It's always one yeah. of five. One star we live in a for, nation of extremes. Yeah. One so. star for political or perceived political beliefs that are different than a listener. Oh, well. Mm-hmm. Um, so 79. I don't know. Be cool to get 80. I think by the next time we talk, we'll have it. All right. And finally, uh, we're going to do the social media aspect of the show, as you once put once put it years ago. Only not once. I, I did it several times. Well, you said it once. I laughed, and then you kept saying it. Well, that's, 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 uh, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much how it works. All right. So, Jordan, I asked for um, just some questions, tweets, and so on to read on air. We got one from Saginaw Cheese. Preps, our greatest fan? Oh, man. Right up there. We used to have a wall of fame, right? Oh, yeah. He's got to be on there. If he's yeah. not, he's, it's a joke. Then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's a wall of shame. At yeah, that point. it's kind yeah. of foolish. Uh, question is, any desire to publish an unauthorized complete history of home <laughs> improvement from 1991 to 1999? <laughs> oh, the desire is there. Let me tell you that. You know, uh, it's like most things. If, if you could get any money for it, sure. I think we would love to collaborate on something like that um, exclusively instead of doing you know, a full-time job and so on. <laughs> yeah, there's no way that would make any actual money. Uh, no. If you want to see our writing prowess, we do both have books on Amazon, so you can go there. That's but, true. Uh, yeah. uh, you're going to be disappointed because it's not home improvement related. Mm-mm. Would be a lot of research, I guess. Um, perhaps we missed our window of when that would have been popular. 
But uh, maybe I'd be more likely to publish an unauthorized complete history of home and podcast. Um, and that would just be like all our behind the scenes bickering and um, You'd throw a lot of troubles. shade at me. Yeah. 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 We would have, yeah, it'd be like an oral history. We'd bring in <laughs> Stacy Castle. Um, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's just a, just a... Richard Karn. He'd be like, yeah, they called me on the wrong number the first time. Assholes. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be say he'd say who is this and he'd hang up. He'd I think that's how that would go. Uh, uh, yeah, I remember. I don't know. There's there's a lot of that stuff. <laughs> I don't I don't necessarily want to go down that yeah, red hole yeah, right yeah. now. But there's yeah. there's a lot of good stuff from behind the scenes we've maybe shared on air and haven't. But yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, unauthorized. Uh, maybe we could get it authorized. We had a really good interview with one of the creators. Right? It could be authorized. Yeah, and they ripped that script to shreds. If he thought your script was bad, he should have read that chat GPT. He didn't know how bad things were going to get for writing. <laughs> It'd be funny said... if you sent, sent him a chat GPT script and he like loved it, but he hated mine. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, my, he's like, yours reads too robotic. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. Hey, we love all of our guests. We do. Um, William O'Leary just got back from Africa. So. He did. Um, and then one poll. Which song best describes Al Borland? Mm. 20 total votes. Um, amazing. Um, I'll give you the options, and then I'll share with you the Results, order. Yeah. I Will Survive, Call Me Maybe, No Scrubs, and Good Vibrations. What do good you think? Vibrations? Yeah. yeah. All right, so 10% said No Scrubs, 15% said I Will Survive, 15% said Call Me Maybe, 60% said Good Vibrations. Yeah, Jason. Plus, Carrier, there's the Beach Boys episode. You know, this it's, is true. I kind of, yeah. I kind of tipped, I kind of tipped the scales a little bit with that. Jason Carey says he survived a lot of accidents on Tool Time, so option one makes sense. I choose yeah. Call Me Maybe. Wait, you chose Call Me Maybe? That's Jason. Oh, well, that's conf- that's a confusing comment then. I choose. Yeah, yeah. Take it up with Jason, man. I'm not going to. I'm just confused by it. That's okay. all. all right. You're... <laughs> There's also a long-standing history of you kind of criticizing people's wording and grammar. I listened to an episode a while back where we took a a quiz that someone had made for us, and you spent the entire time like critiquing the grammar, the word choice, and just generally how it was written. That was my angle. Your aim- angle was the academic. So, you know, we both had our angles. Both Somebody our angles... made a quiz for us? Both of our angles were um, Brett Kavanaugh enthusiasts. <laughs> <laughs> apparently no actually probably the opposite oh well um yeah hey man loose screws that's all i got well it you know it was a very very good edition of home and podcast mm-hmm. and uh i'll have a wonderful time editing it because i know you won't do it i hey, i brought all these topics <laughs> <laughs> and that, it, you, you know chat gpt it took like 15 seconds for that thing to churn out, so... That's well, that's really it. the problem. It didn't take long enough to think about the script. That's true. That, it would have so. shortened Tim to Timothy. Uh, Timothy to Tim, <laughs> rather. In any case, uh, it's been a pleasure. Jordan, thank you for joining me. Listeners, thank you for listening, and I guess I should say, take care. Take care, everybody.